everybody and welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here with me today for our third and final lesson this week for reading. Yesterday I asked you the question, um, what's your favorite read aloud that your teacher has done this year? And I told you that my students at Hawthorne's favorite read aloud was The Raft by Jim LaMarche. Today I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite genre to read? I asked my student third graders at Hawthorne and it was a 50-50 split. About half of my kids said they loved realistic fiction because they could connect with the characters, they enjoyed figuring out the setting, the problem, and what the solution was going to be on the character's journey through a text. The other half said they loved nonfiction text, especially those about animals. What's your favorite genre and why? Well, today the genre that we're going to focus on is nonfiction. We've been reading about Explore the Desert, and you've come with me through two chapters in this text. Today we'll read the last chapter in the text. And we're going to continue practicing the strategy of wondering and questioning. Good readers ask themselves questions and stop and wonder many times throughout the text because it helps them to understand the text or the book at a really deep level. Uh, the things that you'll need uh, for today's lesson are your stop and ask questions about deserts um, in the SPS learning packet or if you don't have that a blank piece of paper and a pencil will work just fine. We'll be stopping three times throughout our text today and I'll ask you to stop and think aloud to yourself in your own private brain or somebody at home uh, in whatever language you feel most comfortable speaking or writing in and then I'll ask you to stop and jot those questions, the three, uh, the three stops throughout the text. Okay, are you ready to get started? Before we do, let's go ahead and try and remember some of the fascinating facts that we've already learned about deserts. Go ahead, think, and share. Let's take a look back at some of the things that we've already read about. We read about how the desert is a dry land and we learned about the camel and how they used fat stored in their humps uh, when, they need, when they go a long time without food and water because that gives them the energy they need to survive. We learned that desert plants and animals depend on each other for survival, especially because deserts have such harsh conditions. And something that was really surprising to me is that deserts can be cold or hot. Antarctica is a cold desert. I didn't know that. And then we went ahead and went to the next chapter, Desert Animals. And we learned about some really fierce hunters like the tarantula who blinds its enemy by flicking hair in its eyes. I kind of wondered whether or not that blindness was permanent. We learned about scorpions jabbing their prey they're venomous and we learned about some different reptiles as well well today we're going to go to another chapter chapter four people and the desert we're going to learn about a special group of people that live in these harsh conditions and how people are affecting the desert are you ready here we go chapter four people and the desert. A man wearing a blue turban guides his camel across the sandy floor of Africa's Sahara Desert. The man belongs to a group of people called the Tuareg, the blue people of the desert. The dark dye of their turbans rubs off onto their skin. A turban is a long piece of cloth to cover the head. For thousands of years, the Tuaregs were nomads moving from place to place. The Tuaregs were also traders. Their caravans of camels took goods like spices and grains across the Sahara Desert. Caravans are groups of people moving together to one place. In recent times, the many Tuaregs have settled along the edges of the Sahara. Droughts made it hard to find food for their camels. Wars made it dangerous to live in some places of the desert. Droughts are long spells of really, really dry weather. Here's some wheat grains. And let's read the caption. The caption says, Tuaregs use camels to carry goods long distances across the desert. This will be our first stop for today. What 
questions have you thought of or what are you wondering already in this chapter? Go ahead and tell yourself or share it with somebody at home and jot down one or two questions you might have in the stop number one box. Thank you. Here are some of um, the responses that my students came up with. They asked, how do the Tuareg people escape the heat of the desert? And what special shoes do they wear to protect their feet? Were your questions similar or different? Let's go ahead and read the next section of this chapter. This next section is going to be about how people in general affect the desert. Here is a picture of a desert grasshopper. People affect the desert. People in the desert must be careful to protect the plants and animals living there. People might not realize the effect they have on the desert. By destroying desert plants, people harm desert animals. Animals that eat the plants no longer have food or shelter. If people kill desert animals like tarantulas or other spiders, Larger animals that eat the spiders have to find other food to eat. Let's read the caption. People who hike in deserts should stay on the trail so they don't disrupt plants and animals. Even though a rocky dry desert looks tough, it's actually a delicate place. Delicate means that it can be destroyed easily. Hikers should stay on trails in the desert. When people wander off trails, they might accidentally crush a cactus. Hikers who aren't careful might trample over the burrows of mice or lizards, causing the animals' underground homes to collapse. Here's a fact box. Good readers read everything on the page. Let's read this together. Aliens have come to the deserts in the United States. Alien plants, that is. The tumbleweed and salt cedar are not native to American deserts. Both plants were accidentally brought from Asia and Europe in the 1800s and early 1900s. This will be our second step today. Please go ahead and think and then share out what questions you might have at this point in the chapter and then jot them down in the stop number two box. Do that now. Thank you. Here are some of the questions my students came up with. They asked, how exactly did alien pants, uh, plants arrive in the desert? And what are the laws to prevent people from trampling on desert plants? Maybe in this last part, those questions will be answered or I'll have new questions to ask as I read. We're now going to read the last part of the chapter. This chapter, or this part of the chapter is called Protecting the Desert. Some people don't come to deserts just to hike. They want to live there. In the United States, desert cities are growing fast. Each year, thousands of people move to desert states like Arizona and Nevada. Malls, roads, houses, and stores are built and they crowd out desert animals and plants. This caption says, Las Vegas, Nevada sprawls across thousands of acres of desert land. To make sure deserts don't disappear, countries and states make laws to set aside land. In these protected areas, people aren't allowed to build roads or homes. It's against the law to harm any of the plants or animals that live there. This caption says, the U.S. government protects desert areas by setting up national parks. And this particular one is a photograph of the entrance to Death Valley National Park in uh, California, which was a homeland, is the homeland of the Timbish, Timbisha Shoshone Native American tribe. Go ahead now and share aloud uh, what questions you have at this point in the chapter and then jot them down in the stop number three box. Do that now. Thank you. The questions that my students came up with is how many desert national parks are there? And are any desert plants or animals now endangered or extinct because of um, the things that humans have done. Were your questions similar or different? 
Now we've completed our exploration um, journey through the desert. Let's talk about some of the fascinating things that we've learned. Maybe some of your questions were answered, um, or maybe you still have even more questions that you'd like to now find out about the desert. Go ahead and share with somebody at home or in your own private brain two of the most fascinating facts you've learned about the desert and one question that you'd still like answered. Thank you. I'd like to still find out more about uh, animals in the desert. Now it's time to transition into IDR. I'd like you to go and find a cozy spot that you think that you could have uninterrupted reading time for 20 to 30 minutes today with a just right book. I'm also going to add in a reading assignment for you to complete today. As you know, this week I've been reading this awesome chapter book called The Key Collection by Andrew Chang. And I've been doing some wondering and questioning as I've been reading. We know that Zhao or little Jimmy's grandma Nini is his favorite person in the world and he finds out that she has to move to California. And so some of my questions were um, how he was going to feel about that. And I shared yesterday a part where Grandma Nini, before she moves, receives a letter from her Auntie Helen. And it said that her his grandma's eyes looked far away. And that made me wonder if something happened or if she was going to tell Jimmy what was in this letter. I'm really curious to find out. So I did some reading and I did find out. And I'm gonna share with you, you with that in just a second. What I'd like you to do as you read today to get ready for your journal entry is to get one post-it and a pencil. And as you're reading during IDR, I want you to find a place where you've asked a really good question that you're curious about. If it's a nonfiction book, it could be about something in the text or a chapter book, any genre works. And I'd like you to jot that question down on a post-it because you'll use that post-it to help you write your journal entry. I'm gonna share the post-it that I wrote. I found out um, what was in the letter and I found out that Auntie Helen wants Grandma Nini to move to California. So my question is, why does Auntie Helen want Grandma Nini to move to California all the way from her home in Ohio? So I'm hoping to find the answer to that question. Now I'm gonna share with you a sample journal entry uh, and tell you what can go into your uh, journal entry as well. Your journal entry must include the title and the author's name of your book, a little bit about what the text is about, the one question that you wrote on the self-stick note, and then what, if anything, did you find out about that question? Was it answered? And if it was not answered, you can write something else that you learned in your text today. I prepared one for you as an example. Today, I read The Key Collection by Andrea Cheng. So I included the title and the author's name. Now I'm gonna tell a little bit about the book. In this book, little Jimmy is worried about what will happen when his beloved grandma Nini has to move to California. Jimmy is devastated because he is so close to his grandma. Now here's the question I wrote. One question I had was, why did Auntie Helen want grandma Nini to move to California from Ohio? Now I'm gonna uh, share with you what I found out. As I read, I discovered that Auntie Helen is a doctor. She thinks she can help Grandma Nini because she is getting older and has some health problems like dizzy spells. And I also added in one question that I'm still wondering. One thing I'm still wondering about is why this book is called The Key Collection. Will this be an important way Grandma and Jimmy stay connected? The directions for your journal entry are in your packet or a blank sheet of paper um, will work as well. So cozy up with your book, get a post-it to find that place where you have a really great question, and then afterwards spend some time responding to the text by doing your journal entry. 
Thank you for being here with me today, and I can't wait to see you all next week when we do some wondering and questioning about an animal.